Got a 2021 Toyota Corolla with some lights on the dashboard. Let's try to fix it. A little history about the vehicle, the uh, car was involved in an accident, uh, the accident was in the back, not in the front, no airbag uh, was changed, uh, we have a bunch of uh, lights on the dashboard. This is with the key on and when we start the vehicle, we have the rear collision, the skid and the tire pressure monitor uh, lights. The uh, car was brought here thinking that it might need a calibration, a dice calibration, probably to the radar or the camera. Uh, but when I scanned the car, the only two codes that we have are in the brake system C0526 46, steering angle sensor module calibration parameter memory failure and C052696 so the same code but the subcode is a 96 here we have a 46 steering angle sensor module component internal failure everything else is past no fault again the car was hit in the back I believe here the repair was done here I, I see the, the paint and uh, no radar was messed with no camera was m messed with i did mention to the owner that the uh, service information recommend to calibrate those whenever you have an accident but hey they just don't want to spend the money so uh, at this point i was told to fix these two codes uh, I did read a little bit about it, it was yesterday, so let me pull the information again. So here's the 4.6, the first one, uh, production is, I believe this one, steering angle sensor module calibration parameter uh, memory failure. When the vehicle is being driven in a straight line at 15 km, which is 9 miles per hour, for one second or more, the skid control, the ABS, brake actuator, calculates the steering angle sensor zero point and update the zero point if the difference between the calculated zero point and the current zero point is between 10 degrees and 15 degrees. The ECU also uh, stores a uh, previous zero point so detection item steering angle sensor module calibration problem this after steering angles uh, steering angle zeros uh, sorry steering angle sensor zero point is uh, obtained the zero point is lost due to power supply fluctuation etc and cannot be uh, reobtained when the vehicle speed is 15, 9 mile or more. Uh, trouble area, steering angle sensor of course, your rate and the acceleration sensor, airbag sensor assembly. This is interesting. I did ask him if there was any repair to the airbag system. He said no, they didn't change any airbag module. I didn't, uh, sorry, any airbag, uh, any airbag. Uh, although I'm gonna have to call him and see if they change the airbag module. Because the yaw rate uh, and acceleration sensor live in the airbag uh, module. So notice before uh, because this DTC is related to a temporary loss of steering angle zero point calibration before process with the inspection, it is uh, useful to confirm whether the power source voltage was interrupted by the operating 
by an uh, operation such as a removal or disconnection of the battery yes the car was purchased from the auction so there is a big chance that the battery was disconnected at some point or died we don't have those DTC's picture repair trouble area uh, do we have electric yes electric If a speed sensor, your rate and acceleration sensor, this is interesting, this is really important I think. If a speed sensor, your rate and acceleration sensor, airbag sensor assembly is malfunctioning, the steering angle may also appear to be a malfunction every, uh, even when removal, even when normal. This is really interesting. The reason why, why I say interesting because every every Toyota or Lexus I saw that had an accident somehow this uh, sensor goes bad or this code comes on even if the accident in the back just like in this in this case uh, no airbag was replaced uh, minor accident in the back yet you still have a malfunctioning steering angle sensor why I did contact some of some of my friends that are uh, I know better than me in this field and some people also that uh, work on uh, the board level and uh, they know that the issue is there but they just don't have an explanation to it so the DC uh, related to speed sensor your rate and acceleration sensor airbag sensor assembly or output performed the troubleshooting of those DTCs before inspection inspecting the steering sensor over here under the uh, steering uh, column this is the sensor right here and uh, I took off this cover it was one Phillips screw right here in the, uh, in the bottom and uh, I rotated the steering left and right there is one here and one there easy to access and then the whole thing comes off uh, disconnected this harness because according to this diagram this is what we're dealing with although there is another harness that connects to it which has a lot of pins I'm not sure why but this is uh, this one is matching what we have here pin number six white and black should be a ground so we have our test light end to a power and when we touch the pin number six which is the white and black we have a, a light that means the ground is good the next is pin number four which is a yellow should be power let me switch my test light to ground and we're looking for the yellow again The yellow should be right here, pin number four, the yellow one. That is, we have power here. The other one that should have power is that one, the black, pin number nine. Pin number nine, the black right here, the one under the yellow, when we touch, and we have power here. Now the two most complicated which you won't be able to check because you need a scope I'm gonna set up actually I think I already set up for it. let me just which is pen number three and eight Here. pin number three the black one and eight white one the one right under it black one waiting for this to connect right here five volts this should be two and a half to three and a half can high right can high the black one yes and can low is 
this one one and a half to two and a half Nice signal. I'm gonna call this a good. So in this case we have to replace the sensor. Which we do have already a new one. We're going to replace the sensor. This is the new sensor. Although I noticed something. You see how this is the part number here 8924B-50010. This part number actually, also the same part number that I found on uh, repairlinkshop.com when I put the VIN number for this, for this vehicle. Uh, here, the unit that was inside the, uh, the package is different part number, 89245-50060. And I did actually, when I got it, I did look at it, and I told the owner, hopefully this is not a return piece and I, did, I was trying to look for uh, some signs of use for this one. I, I never thought of double checking the part number. I'm gonna call the owner, see what he wants to do with this one and uh, take it from there. We're proceeding with uh, replacing that sensor. The first thing that I did is disconnect the negative side of the battery. We are going to disconnect the airbag so Make sure you disconnect the battery, it's a must. Second, you bring a tool like this, or a flat hat, as long as it can fit in those uh, three holes. One here, and one in the bottom, and one on the other side. And there is a piece that we're going to push, and then at the same time, this airbag should pop out. Uh, I will show you what piece is after we take the airbag off. Here's the airbag is off almost and these are the pieces I was pushing this one this one and that one and you don't have to go crazy all you have to do is once you feel there is a spring loading uh, piece be, uh, at the end of your screw then you push and the airbag will pop automatically so for your reference when you put your screwdriver make sure it's it's facing towards the inside of the vehicle like that you see it same thing from this side and from the bottom see the hole is right there see don't go don't go behind this you won't be able to reach it so do this see it hopefully that's gonna help you now let's disconnect those two connectors and be careful what I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a little pick to push these pins out and hold it at the same time you don't want it to snap because uh, those uh, two terminals here two terminals here they might spread from that movement uh, always uh, remove that first and then try to uh, pop it out this is how it should be this piece up first and then carefully there you go same thing on the other side two more things uh, this little white piece that holds this uh, uh, these wires to the airbag you have to push this one to the outside and pull up and the uh, this connector for a horn uh, you see that little piece right there you have to push down and then pull it up now before you get to this uh, screw make sure your steering wheel is straight and the uh, the wheels are straight because this could be straight where your wheels is either left or right so make sure both of them straight second note you see how the new one comes with a lock do not ever ever move this out until you put the the sensor in that's the last thing you remove all right so this one i think it's size 50 we're going to use a or actually I need to do it with two hands one more connector right here right there uh, 
the lock for it to the to the down you push to the down and then the steering wheel comes off I'm going to disconnect this harness this middle piece you push it down it's spring loaded and then you pull the whole thing and this one you push here and you pull it now the steering angle now be careful right here be careful do not rotate this otherwise you're gonna uh, break your uh, clock spring this is the clock spring so make sure you you keep your center uh, what else we have this connector and the other one now I believe three spots one two and one in the back three here so this one you lift up and you push you see it's it's off same thing here I think I need two hands to do this actually it's two one right here and one right here you just pry it out it just clips in now again remember do not rotate this piece there's there you go this piece is out now we have to separate the steering angle sensor which I believe these two one two here and one here three and one here in the corner four five six those we have to pry out and then at the same time push the sensor out there's the old one out and what I noticed it is a different part number See here it says 50060, here it says 50040. This part is the same, it's just the second part. Okay, so this is the old one, this is the new one. We're gonna keep the lock until we sit it in place. Again, I never moved this. I mean, I might move it left and right, but I'm, I'm maintaining it to stay without rotation. So now we can remove the lock and there we go we didn't have to remove the lock to push it in okay there we go there you go now we're gonna do everything in reverse order now before I put my screw my airbag back at this point I like to put the battery uh, post back on and uh, Put my scanner and see if the steering angle sensor is uh, responding to my uh, rotation so I decided to put the bolt not to tie it just so I don't when I move the steering I don't snap it up and damage the wires I uh, forgot to mention that I put back those uh, connectors I'm gonna do key on and we're going to scan the vehicle all right, let me do a full scan, bring you guys back. Full scan and process. I forgot to mention if you don't have a fancy scanner like this that can scan and delete airbag codes. Uh, it's not recommended that you connect the battery while the airbag uh, is off the uh, driver airbag the reason why you're gonna have a, an airbag light that need to be turned off and you don't have a way to do that uh, what do we have the airbag yes we know about it test fields steering angle sensor module calibration parameter steering angle sensor module component internal failure failure same codes let's do delete So we have the steering angle sensor uh, calibration parameter memory failed. I'm gonna key off, key back on. I do not expect those lights to go off. Just wanna scan it one more time. Oh, sorry, I didn't wanna scan. I wanted to go to the uh, brake and see if that. Um, steering angle sensor is responding to the movement 
Alright, let's finish with this. Could be a matter of calibration, but we have to. Alright, let's go here. Yes. Live data. Steering angle sensor. Steering angle sensor right here. So, okay, that's a good sign. We do have a response. The sensor is working. Now, this is our zero, which is perfect. Right here, and it's straight. Now, we need to find out how to uh, calibrate it. I went to special functions with the zero, and uh, there's a calibration. Let's try this option. Vehicles on a flat surface, yes, the vehicle is stopped. Engine power, the engine off, key on, shift on park. Uh, steering wheel is centered, yes, press next. Keep the vehicle stationary, okay. Section related, looking up is okay. The brake and the ABS are flashing. When the ABS warning light and slip indicator light blinks, the vehicle is in calibration mode. Refer to the related document for the confirmation which calibrate. Uh, which calibration completed please try again if the ABS warning light and slip indicator light does not blink uh, the slip is not blinking if function failed to perform try release the handbrake all right so now should I turn the key off and turn it back on Let's go, let's go delete the code, see if that did it. I don't think so. I'm missing something. Uh, erase code. Yeah. Okay, let's put this code in the uh, all data, see what we come up with. Actually, we did visit this. Uh, and now we have to apply what it says here but uh, pay attention here if you have those two codes you have to fix those codes before dealing with this our code uh, connect extreme turn ignition on trouble codes delete the code if the codes come back turn ignition switch off uh, off turn ignition switch to on again and check for can communication system DTCs are output we don't have those can communications Start the engine, perform the road test. Drive the vehicle at a speed of 9 mile per hour and turn the steering wheel to the right and left. Check that no speed sensor or way, uh, your right uh, and acceleration sensor, airbag sensor assembly, DTCs are output. Enter the, the following menu, trouble codes, and then based on the result, we're going to... Uh, jump to either a b c d let's do this i'm gonna put everything back i'm back in out and the problem is we don't have a plate on the vehicle so wish me luck i was about to pull out i i didn't want to go nine miles in our like <laughs> compound here i didn't want to miss any opportunity of repair but actually the lights just went off by themselves let me back up park in a good spot and do a scan see if that code became history and i want to show you guys the distance that i travel because i think that's going to be really important for many of you i didn't delete any codes right there this is you see where the the honda civic that one the tow truck that's where my shop all i drove here and i avoided to go nine miles per hour I wanted to bring the phone out before I do so, but hey, it's good at least. Hey, look at that. 
and everybody happy the pre-collision is happy uh, skid control ABS is happy everybody is happy let's do a full scan again uh, full scan of course those are uh, ABS codes uh, not ABS sorry airbag codes are gonna be history it also went off by itself I didn't turn it off Just those two history we're gonna delete those codes save a post scan and that should be it uh, whew, um, this this subject is a scary issue because if you're not doing it correctly you might trigger another lights on the dashboard while you're uh, trying to repair one issue the reason why because this uh, brake slash e uh, EPB electric uh, parking brake uh, entry and the uh, special functions it has many functions and if you perform which I tell you why I know I did it before I admit it uh, but again it's good that I mention it so you don't have the same problem if you perform the the wrong uh, if you perform the wrong pro uh, process or procedure or function you will end up creating another issue uh, in my case I had to go and bleed a vehicle to get rid of some codes that I created in in a vehicle in a vehicle that I was uh, doing the same exact thing I was I was dealing with a steering angle sensor that's why I decided this time I'm not gonna do what I did before uh, I'm just going to try to stick to the uh, book and that's what it is the book says uh, drive it but just out of curiosity I think we covered some of that information uh, the other day it says if this comes back on go to A if communication lines if speed da 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 uh, is not output so yeah there is more things to do I'm gonna try to show you here you can pause and read hopefully I'm covering everything just in case uh, you don't come up with the same results that we did I'm glad that we did and this is the end of it uh, thank you guys for watching uh, stay around for the next video have a good day